All right, training for longevity. This might look a little strange. It might catch some eyes. But would you like to be the the spark that lit the dynamite? That could be the cultural revolution of movement culture, fitness culture. If you can move in a way that someone has never thought of, that is creating something in their mind that they don't have currently. And they might, it's definitely in there dormant, but they didn't have it for a while. What I'm saying is movement flows and expressing yourself, expressing your individuality in your movement should be a priority. That should be what called the movement culture should be about. Not about pushing it, growing as big as possible, as strong as possible, but being as complex as possible. And everyone's unique. Everybody's complex. There should be a wide way, a wide variety of ways to express that complexity of yourself. Today's uh, longevity practice was called for because I have an event coming up in a couple days and it just so happened to be that the YouTube algorithm provided to me uh, Cad uh, Cador uh, Zanani I, I think I butchered that name uh, Cador Z- Zanan 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 okay he is the longevity uh, blueprint the longevity athlete first pro- gre- first professional dunker uh, about 48 years old still an incredible athlete he has a great a great uh, book or online informational called the seven postures for longevity and athleticism that is what inspired today so today i'm not building i'm not expanding my um, i'm not expanding my body i am just reinforcing the foundation the lower body joints uh, even the shoulder joints i'll get here in a little bit and it is fun. It's playful. It's expression. It's expressive. So take the time to flow. Uh, don't worry about growing too much. Just take the time to flow and play. Have some fun. Especially when you're recovering, trying to re- rebuild, reinforce the foundation of what you already have. Cador uh, is is an Zanati, oh my, I'm so sorry, I forget the name. But if you look up the seven postures of longevity, uh, the first professional dunker, uh, the knees over toe guy talks about him a lot. His name just eludes me as I am a a dur, I'm an American, so foreign cultures don't come too easily. I have been doing this for hours today. I'm only showing about 10 minutes of it, but... I did about an hour of this kind of stuff all throughout the day today, and I'll probably be doing the same tomorrow as I have an event in a couple days, a few days, and I just need to be my fullest then. You'll see the, it, it, it syncs up because I'll be able to come back. I, I should be able to do some hard training right when I come back. Hopefully I don't have another surprise event pop out of nowhere, but it has been known to happen. So the longevity guru is the highlight of the day. And another highlight of the day is the pioneer. He had a great video came out about modern culture and how it really is pushing people to push themselves. Uh, I've heard it a few other ways. I've heard it from Dave Shapiro about a body first living radical alignment that you should be tending to your biological needs. And these are all things I 
have personally been thinking, but I did not have the know-how to express it. I could not express it as well as Dave Shapiro. I could not implement it as well as the Bioneer, and I have not lived it as well as uh, Zanani uh, Cavador. Cavador. Uh, apologies again for butchering the name. But I am learning from them. I am taking it in account. I am being a man of action with the information. And I'm trying to get you guys to at least study with these people. Some of these people I'm talking about. At least one of them. There will be a lot of changes coming up with the state of technology. And... The one thing that should not change is that there's going to be humans in the loop. There's going to be humans on this earth. We're still going to be here. We're still going to need to take care of ourselves. And this is how we do it. Body first living, radical alignment, uh, the perfect fitness culture, whatever you want to call it. Live your life the best way. Whether you want to call it body first living which I think is a very um, concise way of putting it. I need to tend to the creature. You're a creature, you're a human being, an animal, human animal. You're not an animal like the rest of them, but you are a creature. You have a body made of meat and bones and chemicals that create you. Uh, You're definitely spirit, spirit being. So you need to tend to all that. You're nothing without your health. I know that for sure. Even though you need to... It's difficult. Sometimes I'm in two minds with this sometimes. Because sure, you could be, a lack of a better word, selfish about it. And try to take care of yourself the best. Or you can give yourself to work towards... Um, aligning people. Dave Shapiro is spending a lot of time uh, with human alignment and a lot of people are investing their time and energy, probably sacrificing a lot of health to develop uh, very powerful artificial intelligence to make smarter smarter decisions more available, make more smarter beings. Uh, I don't know how I could I don't know how I could even understand the compounding exponential effects of artificial intelligence or creating more intelligence in the earth. But I guess I'm taking the uh, so-called selfish route and just trying to take care of myself while other people are given their, their time and energy building these kinds of things. So I will encourage you to invest your money in AI. Invest your time into yourself. And with those two extremes of giving the entirety of yourself away to promote the direction humanity is going, vice versa with the spending all your time taking care of yourself and living yourself, I feel there's got to be a diminishing returns in it. If you could spend 50% at each, like you spend, you know, there's the 80-20 rule. Uh, 20% of the activity will give 80% of the gains. So maybe you spend just enough to get 80% bodily, uh, body first living and still being able to give 80% of yourself away to progress humanity's trajectory towards a uh, more intelligence, uh, creating more intelligence being, creating artificial intelligence to help us out. That's my goal. Uh, stay aligned. You know, we're all humans. Let's stick together before our robot overlords start to come out. Thanks for watching.